So I'm taking a little drive out today to um, Pioneer Caravans on the edge of Peterborough. They're based in I, um, just outside of Peterborough itself, just off the A47. Um, but I'm sure many of you will pass if you're taking a trip out to Norfolk. Um, Pioneer have been based in Peterborough for many years. Um, they are an old family run business. Um, they own a number of caravan parks as well up and down the country. Um, as well as the caravan park um, that sits behind um, the showroom itself. So I'm interested in their Bailey Motor homes, um, their used stock today, um, and just get a flavour of what the market is doing. And there might be a little surprise or two in store, um, as I may have found out something interesting about the pricing of the Adamos. I mean, down the near side, then you've got the electric hookup, your LPG, and then you've got these tall lockers at the back. So, this is the Adamo 754DL. Whale water point, Truma, water cassette. Very familiar layout in this Bailey Adamo then with the automatic Ford cab. With the nice skylight above. You've got your captain's chairs that turn round. So this is on the 3,500 kilogram with the Ford skeletal chassis, um, automatic limiting your towing capacity to 750 kilograms. This being the DL, you get the lounge diner at the front with a drop down bed above. Um, you get the nice fabric surrounds to the windows, and some nice, little adjustable lights. You do lose lockers here because of this, um, but it feels very light and spacious in the front dinette lounge area. So this will provide you four of the six berths in this one across the bottom here, but also with the drop down bed. And you've got the standard Adamo table. Turning round then, you get the um, Thetford tall fridge freezer, which I think is 120 plus litres with a freezer box. And you get a little storage cupboard above. And then on the near side of the DL, you get the kitchen with its drop down flap. This is the locker for the gas bottles. You've got your light switches adjustments for your um, beds, get a nice sink and you get the Thetford hob and double oven grill arrangement included in the electric hot plate. Then looking to the back of the motorhome you get the lounge and this has a drop down bed above. quite like this space, you get some nice lockers either side and above place for your TV in the back here and then you look back down the motorhome itself you've got access to your water you get some little drawers in the kitchen some little storage cupboard beneath that one doesn't want to open Ah, oh, there we go. So not much storage down below in the kitchen, but you do get the lockers above. Now this is an all-in-one bathroom on the DL, because it's on the side. 
shower trace, that fiddler on a bit of a plinth. Cupboards and a window. This nice bowl for your sink. Some storage below. And you can see there it is on the blown air system. So you've got a standard Bailey panel for your tanks and your lights and electrics. You do get a nice hecky above the kitchen to compensate for the two drop down beds. So that's a quick look around the Adamo 75.4 DL. This is 76,500 here at Pioneer in Peterborough. Well, I've also taken the opportunity to step into the um, 75.4T, which has the twin beds at the back, just for comparison. Now, this offers the spaciousness with the um, bathroom from some of the other models that runs across the middle of the van. Um, and this is coming in at 75,500, so a little bit less than the um, DL. So let's have a look at the back arrangement of this one. So on the T, you get these twin beds running across the back um, with lockers beneath for hanging and access to the garage. The same on both sides. You do get some storage under these steps. Just there. You've got a sliding door that goes into the garage at the rear. And you do get these nice little side lockers and vanity units at the back, but pretty much similar front to all the other Adamos. So just for comparison, this is the 75.4T. So that has been very interesting, actually, having a look around Pioneer as they have um, just told me that they've got a number of um, Bailey Adamos in stock. Now they are their 2024 models um, and they've got basically one of each um, on their forecourt. I was talking to one of the salesmen about their um, availability and lead times and such forth because I'm just curious as to what the, the market is doing right now. And it is interesting that he said now is a good time to buy because there will be a lead time on future models uh, because Bailey are going with a new cab from Ford that wait for it is going to cost eight thousand pounds more wow so there is going to be a big hike in Adamo prices coming and I think that is worth taking note of, especially if you are in the market for an Adamo and you are looking for one right now.